Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the support reaction for this cantilever beam. This is a cantilever beam of total length of 6 meter and there is a uniformly varying load uh, of the 4 kN per meter acting on this beam. And also there is an internal moment of 3 kN meter acting on the beam at the center of the beam. So to find out the support reaction, let's consider that this is any point A and we are going to find out the support reaction for this point. So this is a fixed support cantilever beam. So it will have the horizontal reaction. It will be RAX. It will also have the vertical reaction as it is a fixed support RAY. And also it will also take the moment as it is a fixed support. So fixed support is the capability to take the horizontal vertical reaction and also the moment. Now to how to find out the support reactions. We directly can say that the horizontal component of this will be equal to zero because there is no horizontal load acting on this cantilever beam. So to find out the vertical reaction RAY and the moment at point A. So starting with the first the support reactions RAY to find out this, first we have to find out the total load acting on the beam. So this is the uniformly varying load starting with zero magnitude here at the at the start of the beam and up to 4 kN per meter acting at the end of the beam. So to find out the support reaction, it will be equal to the or a Y will be equal to the total load acting on the beam, load on beam the total load will be equal to the area area of the load so this area this whole area so how to find out this area it's simple triangle so it is equal to half base into height now base in this case is 6 meter height is here 4 kN per meter 4 kN per meter so meter meter will be cancelled from here we will get 12 kilonewton. So it means 12 kilonewton is the total load acting on the beam. So similarly the RAY will be equal to the 12 kilonewton. Because it is equal to the RAY is the only vertical support reaction provided to this beam. So the, it will be equal to the total load acting on the beam. And we find out the total load acting on the beam is equal to the area on of the load on the beam and it found to be 12 kN. So this is a support reaction. And this load, it should be kept in mind that this 12 kN load will act at the centroid of this cent triangle. This will be the centroid of this triangle. So here it will act. This 12 kN will act here at this point. At the centroid of the triangle. So to find out the moment in A, so we have the load and moment R because the moment is equal to the force into moment R. So now force is 12 kN. This load is the force here. So summation of moment is A, it is equal to the 12 kN is the load multiplied with the moment R. Here the moment arm. Now in this case the moment arm is the distance from the centroid of the triangle of this load to the A point. So this is the moment arm because we want to find the summation of moment at point A. So it is the distance, the perpendicular distance from the load acting to the point where we find out the moment. So this is the moment arm if we represent by R. So what is R now in this case? So the total length of the beam is 6 meter so the centroid R will be equal to the 2 third of length or we can say 2 third of 6 meter so R comes out to be here 4 meter so this is the R I can show you this here again if this is a triangle my if this is my any triangle and this is the total length of the triangle L so the centroid of the triangle 
from this point from this small narrow point will be equal to the two third of length and from this point up to the end of the beam or any object will be equal to the one third of L so this is the standard formula to find out the centroid of a triangle that's why I use here two third of L so two third of L and L was six meters so I got here four meters so four meter is my moment arm now also we have internal moment of three kilonewton meter so this will be our total moment at point A so 12 into 4 is equal to 48 in with 3 so moment at A point comes out to be 51 51 kilonewton meter so this is the value of the moment at point A hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily 7 engineering videos thank you for watching our video